certain amount of criticism in the press about the mass loaning that has been undertaken by your branches. Now, would you like to comment on that? Yes, I think uh, there have been criticism and in some cases the criticism would be justified only to the extent that, uh, only to the extent if adequate preparations were not made to identify the borrowers and finding out whether they are uh, potential, they, they can repay their loans. Uh, but I think I would uh, spend a little time in explaining the rationale of this loan mela. Uh, it conveys an impression that something is wrong is being done, but uh, actually in uh, we call it really credit camps. Now it, it is something like this, that in a village it is a practice to have the applications of a few persons, have them sanction, then distribute them in an open function. I myself participated and handed over the sanction letters. Now who are the persons who are getting loans? They are mostly illiterate people either getting to buffaloes or a bullock cart and things of that nature. They are not literate or educated people. They cannot find out what the banks can give by reading the literature. So what is it that you to do to communicate the fact that well there are certain schemes under which you can get loans. So I think that it is one of the most innovative way in which we are communicating as a bank the message that you can get the loan. In a village, large number of people congregate and when you find that someone else has got the loan for either bullock cart or milk cows, uh, he or she feels that well I can get the loan from the bank. So the whole idea of a credit camp, which is not something new, was devised as a very innovative way and this innovation is criticized for wrong reasons, innovative way of uh, going about the task of rural lending. So that it is, I think, a very good communication strategy for us. We may not go to advertising agents, but it is a uh, very good strategy to communicate the message how the schemes operate, who are the persons who can get the loans. So this was the purpose of uh, loan matters or credit camps. But, uh, I must admit the criticism in, in the sense that when you push in too hard, in other words when you ask a branch manager to collect a given number of applications within a very short time, then the problem arises because he has to identify each beneficiary, he has to visit him, he has to satisfy him that he will be in a position to uh, repay the loan. And in each of the cases, in order to make him potentially viable, there is a support of a certain element of subsidy. Then certainly loan mana is not a bad thing at all, it is a good thing as I mentioned. But if this has not been done, mm -hmm. and then the criticism is perfectly justified. Would you say that since you are one of the largest networks in the world, uh, that that is a very effective communication tool? Uh, yes, in a, in, a, in a country where uh, literacy rate is quite low and in a country which lives in 535 and odd villages, there is no way in which we can communicate our schemes of lending to very small borrowers except through this method because we are a unique bank in the sense that and I think any other bank in India in that sense is unique, is, is that we negotiate for uh, hundreds of millions of dollars of loan, as also we give a loan as low as 10 or 15 dollars, I mean talking on dollar terms. So I think in that sense it is a very unique uh, institution. But uh, uh, I must say that while talking of loan mela, there is, uh, I think there is another new dimensions which we are adding. 